going live. So, today I'm going to work on a 11 by 14 piece, and I hope you can see it. I don't know how far much more I can get up there. I hope you can see it all. Um, okay. This is going to be a piece that's going to go in my studio, in my uh, uh, photography studio. So let's get started. I've got, I'm going to start off with my drawing utensils. And I've got, we're going to be using some cold wax, which is the Gamblin cold wax. And then I've got some colors here from Williamsburg which is the alizarin orange, brilliant yellow pale, king's blue, and Italian lemon okra. Also some white and black and a little bit of this viridian color, which we're gonna be using. Um, also, I'm gonna try out these Lyra crayons to see how they work. I just got these aqua colors this week. Um, there is a swatching video if you wanna watch that. And then as far as tools goes, I've got my um, catalyst wedge tools and my pellet knives and, of course, my trusty pellet knives. So, let us get started. I'm going to start off with making some marks, seeing what we can do here. I want this to be very organic. Um, it's going to go on a dark green wall in my photo studio. So I wanted to have some presents. I've been really liking the sort of floral shapes lately. So we're going to play with that. I may not do a lot of talking during this. I don't usually talk a lot when I'm working, but we'll see what happens. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, if you're in the chat, I will have to answer questions later because I cannot see. My phone is up here, so I can't see. Okay. Let's go in with the... 9B. Let's see what kind of marks we can make with that. And if you're new here, this is the way I start off most of my work. Almost every piece is just about making marks because we want to loosen up. And get all these good marks down. lines. Add a little bit of water to this 9B. You can see that makes like a really cool black mark. One part of these graphite sticks is making these really bold black marks. Stop there for now. Let this give this a moment to dry up. And we'll lay down a layer of cold wax onto there. lay this down this layer of cold wax just so that these layers are protected almost and also gives us a good starting point and I'm okay if it 
blends together a little bit. Love the smell of this stuff. Makes my studio smell so good. Sounds like a like bees. start off with a little bit of this alizarin orange. I'm going to turn that music down to wet. Also gonna start with some viridian here and I'll pull my palette over here so you guys can see what I'm doing this piece is so big that I ran out of room almost over here on my table I want to do a goal with these pieces I want so I'm just gonna take this green this is the Viridian Green. I want to make like a little bit of a mint color. Like a minty green. I need all that white. That's not even close to what I want. I put a big blob of white there because I use a lot of white in my work. <clears throat> It's always good to tone down the colors just a little bit. And I am working on a, this is a wax palette. I want it to be almost white, but then I kind of want, I want to add in, oh, let me find the color. I don't have it out. The Still de Grom, which is like a, almost like a yellow, Ochre color. Or maybe I just want the. Let's see what this looks like. Maybe this one is better. This Italian okra. I just want a touch of that in there to warm it up just a little bit. You can see how that changes the color just a tad. Makes it a little less cool. Right, so we've got a pretty good chunk of paint here. I'm going to add in the cold wax and for the cold wax you want to make sure that it's a 50 50 mix don't want probably want to go over that and you know when it's ready because it gets this matte color to it, it sort of um, takes the sheen off the oil paint so it gets this really Cool. You can see, like right there, that it's sort of matte. Okay. Let's go look over here. And I've got some on here, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add some color in here. And I like to add my color in threes. And right now I'm just trying to get some color down. My, you can see how it's almost, it's not quite transparent, but you can add really thin layers in. And you can see now why I covered up that black because otherwise it would be mixing in with it and dulling down my colors. So we don't want that to happen. I like what's going on there. I 
Okay. So now I want to add in. Wipe this off. I'm going to mix up. I don't know if I'm going to mix up. I'm just going to use it. I might add just a little touch of white to this. Just a little touch of white to the still de Grom. And this is just a really beautiful orange. These colors by Williamsburg are handmade um, on the East Coast. And they are just the best. They're not cheap, but they're good. Um, okay. Well, I just want a little bit of this color. I don't want a whole lot. Adding in, like I said, my three spots. <clears throat> if I decide to make more, I don't know why, but I always have to do it in odd numbers. Okay. So it's starting to come together already. granny sweater on today. I'm okay if the colors mix a little bit together. I'm gonna need one more color. energy through here. It's a lot of yellow. Lots of orange. Okay. I don't know if I need that much orange. Let us I feel like I want to add one more color, but let's Taking in my okay. I'm starting to get a really cool green. good thing about working in the cold wax is that most of the most of the rules about painting with oil paint don't apply meaning that you don't have to work fat over lean is a really beautiful color. I usually use it straight out of the tube. If you can see it's real, it's really blue. And though I might add it in, I'm gonna add a bunch of that. I'm probably gonna add, mix it with this Williamsburg to create a different colored green. But we'll start off with the blue. Oh, I got yellow mixed in there. Oh, well, that'll be fine. And this color is phenomenal. Like, it's really pretty.
Maybe I won't add in that green. I kind of got some green mixing over here. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. And I do work quickly, in case you can't tell. I don't mess around. Oh, that's nice. When I start this pieces, I don't really have any idea except for colors that I want to use. And I try to keep everything else pretty open. I don't really like to plan everything that I'm going to do because there's no fun in that. Need some darker colors, maybe. Look what we got going on so far. I like these marks I'm making with my finger. Let's add some more of that blue in. I want to keep it more blue on this side. And this Arches oil paper that I'm using is really durable. Like you can really scrape into it. It holds up so well. It's meant for oil paint, but I love it for the cold wax. I love painting on paper so much that I tried to paint yesterday on a piece of on a canvas and I just didn't enjoy it. It's too flimsy. It's not durable. You can't like be aggressive with it. And I've got this thing going on right here in the middle that I'm not happy about. I'm gonna have to fix that. going to I don't know what I'm going to do got to be a big spot I like these dark marks that I made and this is why I put the the cold wax over that so I can bring these layers back really cool marks drawing back into it finding excavating I'm gonna try some of these liras and see how they work these are wax crayons and though they're water soluble they should work really well with the cold wax I just got them in the mail so I swatched them but I also wanted to they make good drawing marks, I think. They're pretty thin. They're not as, they're not as, I don't know. They're not as uh, soft as my Mirabu's. You really gotta put some pressure on there to get any marks, but that's okay. That could be, good for certain applications. I kind of like everything when you get new tools, you have to learn how to use them. I think these could be good for just what I'm doing right here, which is adding in little spots of color. The thing I don't like is that they don't seem to mix very well with your finger, which is not good. Um, let's add some blues in here. I 
like the colors. I just, I'm not seeing, I'm not getting what I want out of them though, I don't think right now. It's like it's taking away. Mm. So I've got out my Mirabos. I wasn't going to use them today, but I really, you can see the difference between what I just did and look how little effort it takes to put the marks down. These Mirabos crayons are the best. I don't know why I try to replace them, but you know, it's always fun to try out new stuff. They're just so good. I'm in no way endorsed or getting paid to produce, you know, promote these Mirabus. I just love them so much. They are my go-to. Wish I had a light blue in that though. I might need to wipe it. As you can see, I use them quite a bit. They're very well loved. So I think I want to actually take away some of that one on here. Bring back some of that white. I'm going to add in, oh god, there's a huge mess. Let's add some more of that, that green in there. I'm going to add that. to be I'm just going to add in some just plain old white with a little bit of yellow just to sort of warm it up a little bit the titanium white can be a little, it can be a little stark. Oh, I just got some white here. I'm going to add in, and I just want to put a little bit here. I feel like I'm going to put it somewhere right there. there. Starting to build up the layers. I'm liking, oh God, I'm just making a huge mess over here. You can see all the mess that's going on next to me. You would laugh. Okay. I'm gonna get this.
like that. And if you don't like something, you just take it away. Just rub over it. I think I got way too much yellow on here to start. real that orange gets really yellow once you put it on the paper okay where are we at I feel like I need okay that's not good for that Let's take a little bit of, I'm going to draw back into this a little bit. And this is the, what is this, Generals extra black that I got in one of my art boxes. I'm getting a lot of energy going on here. And look, it's all in the center. These will be good. I think this is how I'm going to use these. I feel like I can make some cool marks. This is the, what color is this? Rose Pompeian. Pompeian red. It's kind of nice. I feel like that's the way to use these, is just to make lines. I'm getting a lot of lines here, so I probably need to calm down. I'm getting a lot of... Okay, so we've got... We need to de resolve this section here. It's not working for me. I need to just put down some more mint. Give it a little white. hear you all out there screaming oh no she covered it all up it'll come back just have to I was having a problem with this middle part just being too uh, centered I know it's in the middle but it was just too much not good I might bring some of it back but we needed some energy through there Let's see what we can do with the catalyst now. Bring that back so I like that spot. What I want to do is
that's much better. I like that. I'm not sure about all this though. Okay, feeling a little better about it now. You already got something going on over here. Ooh, look at that black line I just found. Let's mix up what we want next. I'm going to add some more of this King's Blue. With a little bit of Stilted Grom and some Lemon Yellow. Let's see what we get. different. A little different. Not a whole lot different, but just different enough. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Add some of that in there. So I think we have some good energy going on here, finally, through this. Glad I resolved this. I feel like it's better. Cut some more shapes back into it. It's really cool. A little 
little hint of black right there. Look at that. Let me just tear it away. It's like, ooh, look, it's hiding right in there. I like these little cutaway lines that I can make with the catalyst wedge. So they look almost 3D. I used to use stencils a lot for that, but the catalyst wedge works so well. Okay, I think we need some more red. Maybe a bit more blue. I feel like there's not enough blue in here yet. I feel like there's not enough. Let's move this over here. Add a little bit of white to that blue. The king's blue. Okay. I like the greenness, but I think it needs some blue. Like some really cool blue. Let's, let's add this around. I don't like that I put it right there in the middle. I guess that's what we do. Let's take some of that away. I feel like it needs to have some blue up here. I like that. I'm liking that.
Yep, that's what definitely what it needed. Not too much, just a, a skosh. Maybe I might want to add in. Don't know. I feel like it might need a little bit of touch of some more. It needs more mint. so excited when I find a black wine. It's like, ooh, I forgot that was there. What do we think? What do we think? It's more red. a pop of red as much as I love a big back gold gold line I really love a pop of red what are we gonna do here we need more let's a little bit more red one more piece of red oh no indecision I hate indecision be down here. We like that. Just a red scribble. I feel like it might need a using. What was the rose? Let's try this geranium. What does that look like? Sort of a pinky color. Ooh, maybe some pink. Um, 
Let's do, I'm going to add in a little bit of this flesh with some white. It just needs a different color. Just a little bit. And a lot. That's nice. That's a lot. I think I'm just going to add this in with my finger. Oh, there we go. Look how much difference that makes. It just adds just a little bit of fun. I feel like it might need a line with the black line. Okay, I'm gonna do one last sort of pass around with the pencil. done. I feel like I'm done. Maybe. I might want to make that. It's a little bit more distinct through there. But otherwise I think I'm good. Feel like it's done? Does it need any other colors? I don't know. I think it's good. Well, let's take off the tape and see what we get. Off the tape. Unfortunately, I do not have a mat for this. We're just gonna take off the tape. So I go live every Friday. 2.30. So if you have some time, I hope that you will like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. So this is my piece. I'm going to bring it up a little bit so you can kind of see what I did. In a little bit of closer areas. I really like what's going on here. I love this part up here. This is pretty cool down here. Overall, I think it turned out pretty well. I think it turned out how I wanted it to feel. I like the colors. And all right. I think that's going to be it for today. Thanks so much. Bye.